This is Tim at Stammer AI. And in this tutorial video, what we're gonna be showing is how, or at least one method for integrating Stammer, a Stammer AI agent with uh, Discord. And now there are some limitations to this approach. It's using Zapier. And just the main limitation is that it can take up to 60 seconds for the agent to respond, uh, just due to the nature of how Disc uh, State Zapier actually pulls Discord for new mentions. And so we'll go over that in more detail, but what I mean is it can be a little bit slow, and I will actually show you the response time in this video. And then the other kind of limitation here is just that I haven't found a way yet. Now, I'm not a Zapier expert. Some of you may, may, be, may be better at this than me, but so far we haven't found a way to replace the um, this default kind of Zapier uh, icon and the fact that it says Zapier, right? This always says Zapier. And so if any of you know how to fix this, definitely reach out to me on Discord or just send an email. But uh, let me show you how this works. So I'm gonna say, at, I'm gonna mention Zapier. What can you help me with? Okay. And now, like I said, this can take up to 60 seconds, so we're actually not gonna wait for it to respond. Um, and now this could actually work, right? It depends on your use case. If you Obviously, if you need instant responses in your Discord, uh, this method may not work for you. Obviously, also, you have to have a Zapier subscription for it to work. Otherwise, it can take up to 15 minutes to post a response, which is definitely probably not acceptable for your use case. But if you set the expectations, and see, it just responded. Um, if you set the expectations with your users, that, uh, you know, I don't know, like a little header, like a little pinned message that says, you know, for any questions, message the bot and know that the responses can take a, you know, a little bit of time, up to 60 seconds, then maybe that would work for your use case. But as you can see, it did respond. I can help you <laughs> with questions or information you need about amazing company name stamp. That, that's kind of the default um, prompt we have in there. And it's interesting that this bot is thinking the name of the company is named Stam. But anyway, we may need to change that prompt. But as you can see, it's working here. And let's go over how I actually got this working. So the way this works, we're obviously not gonna go into you know the basics of Zapier. You're probably familiar if you're watching this video. But what it is, I created a new Zap. And let me go ahead and do edit here so that we can take a look at this. I wanna do a new draft because I was making some changes earlier and I don't remember if that was, uh, if those are working. So what I've done is I've used the trigger um, new mention in Discord, right? Anytime there's a new mention in Discord, that's the trigger for this zap. And specifically, I, why is it on, that's interesting. Oh, channel type. Text and announcements, yeah, I guess that's fine. That's what I selected. Oh, and here we go, the channel to use. So I selected AI chatbot. That's kind of a test channel we have for, for developing this. Oh, and one thing I do wanna mention, we'll talk about this in the video, there is actually another way to set this up. We're eventually gonna have a direct Discord integration, but there is another way to set this up as well using uh, a very easy to deploy Python script, and I'm going to be creating a video on that later this week, so stay tuned for that. And that is actually, we're actually gonna create for that tutorial a, um, a Discord bot for their API, and uh, that's how we're actually gonna set up our own internal support bot inside Discord so that it's able to ask, uh, answer users' questions. Because if, if you saw my video from last week, recently we, we reduced our support tickets by more than 58%. I think it's something like 75 to 80 at this point. I'll have to look at the actual metrics sometime. But anyway, so stay tuned for that video later this week, and that's the method we're gonna be using. It's gonna be much, much faster than Zapier, and almost free, right? You have to just deploy the Python script. And eventually, like I said, we're gonna have a real Discord integration. But yeah, I selected this channel, AI chatbot. That's the one that you saw just a few moments ago. And this is key, right? You have to tell it who you want to watch for mentions to or of. And I told it Zapier, right? Because it's the Zapier user that is put into this uh, this channel. So select the right person there, depending on what you're using. 
And then, uh, yeah, you test it. I'm gonna go ahead and click continue here. You find some previous mentions and you test it and you should be able to kind of find those um, and apply the trigger. Now, the next step in this zap actually is the message chatbot in Stammer AI, right? So I went into here and I just, the event is our default Zapier thing, which is pretty simple, right? It's just message chatbot. And then I set up and put in my, my API key for this. And then I also put in the chatbot UUID. Can I show this? Let me see if I can show this without showing any. I don't think it's gonna show my credentials. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. Okay, great, so that's good. And then the action here, and this is fine. You, I'm gonna get rid of this chatbot anyway as a test. But here's my chatbot UUID that we put in there. Uh, this is the query. So this is, you know, how do, what do we wanna query the chatbot? And uh, you just put in the, the content from the Discord message that it found in step one, right? And then here, uh, a unique identifier or string used to distinguish, it this is how it knows what is a conversation, right? And the best way to seem to, it seems to do this on Discord is to use the author's username. Actually, now that I think about it, author ID may be a better way to do it. And I believe that is an option here. But I mean, usernames should be distinct as well in, um, in uh, but actually let's just select it because it should work just fine. So we're gonna do author ID. Oh, I'm gonna do it, I need to put it here. Let's get rid of that. Let's put it in, let's search the available fields. Author ID, I saw it earlier today. There we go. Okay, perfect. So that is what we're gonna use for this. Let's continue here. And actually, we can actually test this step by using the prior data that it's found. So let's, let's go ahead and do that and see how this works. Test step, yeah. And it's answered back, so that's working. The messaging stammer is actually working. Now let's go ahead and click continue and let's show the final step in this zap. And this is pretty simple. This is after it's messaged the, the chatbot, the AI agent and Stammer, it's gonna take that response and send it to the channel um, as a message in Discord. And so let's click on this and take a look at what we hear. Obviously the event we're doing is send channel message. Um, same account that I've already authenticated before, my Discord account. And then here's the action that we're gonna set up, right? Obviously the same channel as before. I just selected this AI chatbot. Um, this, and this was actually confusing for me, um, I've read, and it does work, so I guess this is the way to do it, but you're supposed to put these open brackets here, and then a closing one, and then the at symbol, and then you put the author ID in here, and then of course we want the, ans the, the, uh, the answer from the chatbot, right, so that's what this is, this is from Discord, this is from the stammer step, and then by doing this like this, it'll actually mention them, but I also had to do this, ping username role and everyone mentions. So I guess that's a part of it, but I just set it to true and then I put the author username here. So I guess these are working in concert because it's working perfectly that way. Uh, I don't really know what this is. Text to speech, bot name. Now this is what I was experimenting with and I could not get to work. The moment I try to set the bot name as something else, or the bot icon, it will error out and complain about the webhook being invalid. And so I don't know if that's a, an issue on Zapier's side or Discord's changed something about the API and it doesn't work the way maybe it used to be with, with Zapier. Regardless, it doesn't work. So it, you have to keep it as Zapier for now. But you guys probably know a lot more about Zapier than I do, so let me know if there's some way to do this. It won't be a limitation once we have our, our native Discord integration, as well as with the Python example that I'm gonna show you later this week. It should not be a problem. But this works. This is how it works here. I'm just gonna click continue. Uh, this is already published. I'm just gonna create a version name here. I'm not really... I think it's four at this point, we'll see. Um, the zap is now live, come on. Okay, there we go. There's that, how was it? Yeah, it's pretty easy, yeah, great. Some product manager is gonna review that now and 
think they have a great product. Mm. Okay, now let's let's just show it one more time. I know you guys have already seen this, but let's see how long it takes this time. And let's just make sure that the change I made didn't break everything. Let's see. Let's see how long it actually takes here. In the actual video, I'll probably cut out the silence if I can just shut up and wait. Okay, and I actually got tired of waiting, so I paused the video for a moment. I would say that took about 70 seconds to actually pick it up and then respond. So it may be a little bit more than 60 seconds, but I think you get the idea here. Depending on your use case, this could be a viable way to integrate easily a Stammer AI agent with your Discord. And of course, like I said, you need to have a Zapier account, uh, but a lot of people do seem to. Um, it will not work with the free version. Like I said, the polling there is every 15 minutes. And also, I did try this on make.com, but on make.com, they actually do not have a new mention in Discord trigger. I don't know why that is. So yeah, it's not possible to do it on make.com currently. But yes, let us know if you have any questions about this. Just jump into our Discord or shoot me an email or open a ticket. Um, and we will try our best to answer those questions. And like I said, stay tuned for later this week when we release the, the Python version that you can easily deploy and it'll be almost entirely instant. Okay, and that is it. Let us know if you have any questions. Have a great day.